Well, how much money are you gonna make today, Raven? About, I'd say about 450. 450, that's what we're going for? For about eight hours, yeah. All right, let's see. Let's see if we're gonna hit that or more. So today, we're gonna go do a ride along with a waterless car detailing business. Waterless. Do they use a little bit of water? Do they use no water? What do they use? Imagination? And we're gonna find out how much this waterless car detailing business makes in a day here in Stockton, California. Let's go. Come over here. First car of the day. Yep, waiting on the client right now. Yeah, you fit everything in here. <laughs> oh my God, it looks like a little clown car. Right. How long have you been doing this? I've been doing it inside out for like three years. Three years? And all from your car? All of it, yep. It, it's waterless. Waterless, yep. It's only a cup of water. I can't believe Raven fits everything in that small car. <sighs> Reminds me of the time me and my 18 cousins will travel to the swap meet to go school shopping. What amazes me is that you only need one cup to clean a car. One cup, one cup, man. Every time I hear somebody say one cup, I get flashbacks. Can't believe those two girls ruined it for me. Can't do no baking anymore. How long have you had this customer? Um, this one I have, I've only had her for about two weeks. She's new, she's from oh. my, one of my networking groups that I'm in and so. Networking groups? Yes. Oh, that sounds like juicy free 99 knowledge right oh, there. Yes. All right, <laughs> we'll, we'll get that on to later. <laughs> Before Raven started Inside Out Wash, she was going to school. But why did she stop going to school? What made her start her own business? Where did she get her glasses? You're about to find out. I was going to school in the Bay Area for a bit. Ooh, I mean, I didn't know what my direction was and what I wanted to do. I was just kind of there because that's what I thought I had to do. But there was a lot more in me that wanted to do this, so. And now three years into it, yeah. how do you feel about it? Grateful. Very grateful and proud. Let me ask you, what were some early struggles you went through? trying to grow this business? I'd say staying motivated. I think the hardest challenge was trying to find something new out of something that you're still doing. If you're interested in starting a waterless car detailing business, these are the basic things you need to get started. What are you gonna do, fill it up? Yeah, so this is the secret potion. That's the KFC recipe right there? Yep, coming to you soon. So oh, in, this is what you're gonna be selling? Yes. All right. So this is the pressurized squirt bottle. Pretty much just fill it all the way up to the 48, and then you put two ounces of the waterless wash in it to concentrate. So. These are the basics. Maybe start washing your own car. Because remember, you gotta crawl before you run, homie. You're about to hear what marketing strategies Raven uses to get customers. And I'll be honest, I was surprised of what strategies she uses because I haven't heard anybody else using them. But I haven't been this surprised since the first time I put on glasses and I realized I got catfished. Man, I knew her voice was too deep. So you, you tried this little marketing thing? Yeah. Asked me how to get a free car wash? Yeah. So how do you get a free car wash? Uh, my method back then was if you liked our social media, back then we were giving out free car washes every two weeks to whatever our followers were. And um, So you tell me if I went back in the day, if I went to go like your Instagram, I got a free car wash? If you followed us, yeah, you'd be in a raffle every two weeks. Oh, it's a raffle. Right, right, right. How do you feel that strategy worked for you? Back then it worked as far as getting my name out there, but to keep people, not really, because... Because mm, if want, they're looking for free car washes. They want the win, they want, yeah. But then people started knowing who I was, I started posting it, and it, it helped. You gotta make those short-term sacrifices for the long-term profit. And where do you put that? Oh, you give it to them? Uh, just if someone asks. Okay. It just depends on the client. Um, if they want to say, oh, do you have a card? Give them a card. Hey, what are your prices? Just hand them this and say, wash and detail packages. There you go, there you go. Most people would consider these as 
detailing, most detailers call them details. Yeah. But they're just a little like a car wash at that point. Oh. There you go. You have your prices right here and everything, huh? Yep. Oh. No shame in my game. How did you end up on the news? Um, so I decided to join the Lodi Chamber of Commerce because it's kind of the thing to do when you start your business in a small town. And so I started going to all the events that they had. Um, you know, sit and table events and didn't really get any publicity much. And then I went up to one of the chamber members, Marina, shout out to her, God bless. Uh, she, she was really interested in my business, wanted to know about it. And I asked her, hey, could you help me get into the paper? And she said, yeah, I can help you do that. And she put the word out for me. And I got an, an interview for the paper, I ended up being on the front page. And uh, after that, I just got phone call after phone call from every news station that wanted to interview me. So. What? Well, one thing you do is you leave candies in your customers' cars. I leave mints. Mints. Yep, cute little inside out ones. Wow, they have your logo on them. Yep, it's a real deal. Do, do you get them locally made or? Uh, no, I just have a manufacturer make them for me. I buy them in bulk, so that would make it a little bit cheaper. How, how much do they cost you? Um, I think on average about eight cents a. Oh, uh, that's not bad. Not bad. I mean. Two per car, 16 cents extra in a car. I mean, it's totally worth it. It makes the value go up on the wash, and it just looks nice for presentation. And then another one was the IBM? BNI. BMI. BNI. BNI, yep. It's a, it's a networking group for, uh, you know, regular business owners. Uh, have you noticed that help your business just surrounding yourself around other entrepreneurs? Without me even joining... I had already, just visiting, I had already gotten four referrals the first day. And that obviously motivated me to want to join. But after being a part of it, I was better at presentation. I got to know more about my business. I got to know about other businesses and understand the concept that givers gain philosophy works. The more you give, you'll gain out of it in the future. You can't always expect something in return. Of course, just like any business, you have the good and the bad. The good is that you don't need really big equipment, like a water tank, and it's eco-friendly, the bad, mm. What's one thing that you don't like about this business? The sun. The sun? I'm a summer baby, but when you're working in that sun. Ooh, that 100 degree weather? Oh yeah. What do you do? You get a little tent, you get umbrellas. You chase the shade. You, oh yeah? You can't fit a tent in this Fiat, unfortunately. Oh, that's chase, right, huh? Chase the shade. Any bad customers? Oh, yeah. Yeah? A, a lot? A couple, a couple here and there, yeah. It's, it's gonna happen. What's the worst one? Um, I had a client once. I did a full detail for her, and I had her about three months. Full detail, and then every two weeks, I was keeping up on a maintenance wash for her. And she stopped booking washes because she had surgery or something, and so I put her on a pause, and then a couple months after that, she didn't really talk to me as far as booking, so I thought she was still recovering. And she decided to go to the bank and dispute every single transaction, and so she wanted money back for every transaction to the bank, and I had no choice but to give it back to her. They took it out of my account, and it sucked. But what? How much, how much do you think? I think it was like, maybe $600. But I learned from that, I learned a lot because now- What'd I you learn from that? I made a terms and agreement. Oh. Uh, when you book with me, and uh, I keep up with, uh, keep up with signatures, keep up with uh, card accesses. One thing a lot of people get caught up on, even before they start, is the name. They want the perfect name. But here's the thing, you gotta keep it simple. Pick a name that's easy to remember and says exactly what you do. But also make sure it sounds good. I remember one person named Gloria was starting a donut shop and she wanted to call her business Glory Holes. I don't think that was a good idea. Why inside out wash? Was, was that the first name you thought of? I was in the in and out parking lot trying to think of a name. Uh -huh. And I was like, in and out wash. Everyone wants in and out. And then I'm like, I can't, it's copyright. And so I said, we have to wash the car inside and out, so why not inside out wash? And that's how it happened? That's how it happened. Dang, in and out. Now everybody's gonna know you stole in and out. I was inspired by in and out. Oh, okay. Out. Okay, I was inspired. That's what we call it nowadays? Yes, inspiration. All right, cool, cool. That's how it works. So I went on Fiverr, paid this guy 10 bucks to make me a logo. He gave me a bunch of different layouts. 
ended up picking this one and I liked it a lot. Can I zoom in? Yeah. Inside out was. There's two ways of growing any business. Introduce new products or services that complement your main business or try to reach new customers to grow your current revenue streams. And Raven is expanding her business by providing new products. More specifically, providing her own product line of cleaning products. That's your product line? Yes. What made you want to do that? I want to help other detailers. It's like mm. a detailing company. I mean, I'm not really scared of competition. There's enough cars in the world for all of us. So, I mean, why not? And um, is it hard making your own stuff? Like, are, like, do you do it or? No, I have a chemist who makes it. It takes a lot of time, a lot of research, and it's got to be something that you're going to put your full heart in because if you don't, it'll be a waste of time and energy. And it's got to be something you're all in for. Where can people find these products? Currently, they can't right now, but it will be released if they follow our Instagram, um, PPFUSA or Inside Outwash. Someone's throwing at me with you here. Dang, another guy another who one. added another car to yep, his order? Yep. Hey Raven, they must really love your work. I guess so, huh? I guess hey we're, we're Raven, that good, right? We're that good? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Hey Raven, you all right? Oh, you good? I'm so tired. You're tired? Oh, I'm so tired. <laughs> How you doing, Clayton? How you doing? I'm good. You good? Yeah. You not tired? A little bit. Oh man, hmm. you drink energy drinks or not? Nah, you do a raw too? Just go, go. Oh, yeah. with natural. Yeah. We, we do oh. this to each other, like, come on, dude, come on. Yeah. <laughs> you push each other? Yeah. yeah. All right. Hey, wish you guys the best of luck, all right? Another way she's growing her business is by growing her team. And this is where we meet the homie Clayton. Hi, my name is Clayton. I'm from Manteca. And shout out to uh, Team Events. Uh, Follow us on Instagram at Team Events or Manteca Events. You have an employee, the homie Clay, Clayton. What's your goal with him? What do you want him to accomplish? Just to help with the workload? Or do you want to train him to do his own thing? Yeah, my objective is to train him, equip him, and get him to be on his own so that way he can do his own solo washes. Right now he's just a washer. I like to get into so today's Clay's first time that he's gonna do everything himself? This full wash all by himself, yeah. Ooh. There's a car wash right there, look at that. Wait a minute, wait a minute. So they called you when they have a car wash right across the street? Mm -hmm. Let's say somebody wanted to get into this business. What advice would you give them? Give your best attention to detail. Go no. the extra mile, because with detailing, it's almost something that everyone thinks they can do, but until you know what to look at as far as detail goes, it's not something that you should pursue. There we go. We just finished the last car. It's going to be eight. Woo, what a long day, huh? Long day. Hey, but I'm going to tell you how much she made today. Did we hit the goal? You're going to find out. But first of all, how did Clay do? Is he ready to be on his own? Or a little bit more? Clayton did pretty dang good for being solo, that's for sure. Uh, I think he, by next week he should be ready to go out and on his own. And so uh, let's just hope those are the next steps for him. You got to throw him to the lions, you know? Yeah. See if he's going to survive. That's enough. He's got he's to gotta drown a little, learn to swim, and he'll be good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Thank you so much for freeing that knowledge. And we got to show you some love. Where can people find you? And where can they find your products to get started? Well, if you want to see some cool car pictures, you can follow us at Inside Out Wash on Instagram, Facebook, regular social media. Um, if you're interested in products on our Instagram, it's PPFUSA. Uh, we'll have uh, pre-orders for sample kits and uh, other supplies too that you can get. Um, and all the information you need to be on there. All right, all right. And that's it. Now I'm going to tell you how much she made today. And Raven, how much did we make? And this long day of detailing cars. 486.40. Baron, can I tell you something? I think I'm in the wrong business, right here. I think I'm in the wrong business. There you go. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. And if you did, press the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Leave me a comment. And I'll see you in my next video. Peace. Bye, Raven.